Welcome back to Master Your Glass. This past Thursday was National Root Beer Float Day. So because I have laying around still some of that vanilla ice cream and some root beer, I'm gonna add a few more ingredients to it and I'm gonna make a root beer's groppino. Okay, so what I really like about Scropinos, besides the fact that I truly believe that ice cream is so underutilized in the cocktail world, I also appreciate the fact that there's no bar tools, no ice. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm gonna do, and, and really the, the, uh, the order in which I add the ingredients always depends on how hard my ice cream is. Because my ice cream right now is really hard, I'm gonna add some liquid to it first, and that is gonna be an ounce of Amaro Ramazzotti. Now Ramazzotti already has these little cola root beer flavors to it, so it's just gonna do a really good job mishing all in, adding a little bit more bitter spice to it, but just a touch, and I'm gonna add one ounce in here. Just like that. All right. Next ingredient I'm going to add is going to be, this is about a cup and a half of vanilla ice cream. And when I splash it in, this is why I like to add it first sometimes, it's gonna plop, but it's so hard that in order to get this to work for me, I'm gonna just have to do it like that and add the rest in just like that, okay? By the way, if you're wondering what vanilla ice cream I am using, I just literally at the store bought Breyers homemade vanilla and uh, we'll see how this comes out. Okay, so now, I have my ice cream, I have my uh, Amaro uh, Ramazzotti, and now I'm gonna just add a splash. This, is the, this one is the kind of play as you go ingredient of root beer. Just a splash like that, and then I'm gonna keep on adding to it as it gets a little bit more softer. But also what I add, this is completely uh, optional, but a couple of pinches of Himalayan pink salt. It's gonna add a little brine, a little salty note to our, our root beer's grappino, and it's gonna make it very delicious. Now we're just gonna whisk. Whisk, 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 until we get that really nice consistency that we like. Now, if you're in a hurry, just add more root beer right on top. It's gonna soften it up immediately and you're ready to go. If you have a little bit more time like I have, you can just keep on whisking until you get that consistency. Now, the amount of ice cream that I added was a cup and a half because this glass here is about, has about nine ounces. And so I need quite a bit. It's gonna be a bigger drink, but root beer floats are really big. So I wanna be consistent with that. And uh, let's see, it's kind of getting there. I do wanna add just a little more root beer, not a lot, just a little splash right there to give it a touch more softness. It's gonna make it easier to work with. Okay, there we go. We'll go with that. Now, just pour it on top, just like so. The crazy thing about ice cream, right, it comes with all that air. So when you think you're using too much, once you whisk it and you eliminate the air from it, um, you realize that you did not put too much. Just like that. I'm gonna get this out of the way for all sorts of OCD purposes. Now I'm gonna just add a little mint top right on top of here. Just maybe give it a little flavor just like that or just a little, uh, let the oils go on top of the glass that I'm serving it in. And there you have it, the root beer sgropino. Forget about it. This is really, really, really good. Um, less root beery than you would think, of course. Uh, the fact that the soda component or the sparkling component is not a lot, if you add too much, right, it becomes too liquidy, is the reason why I used the Amaro, right? So I can get that root beer flavor in the in the cocktail without having to add too much to make it too liquid. But it's really fluffy, really delicious. Vanilla ice cream is amazing. That salt is coming through. Those two pinches really did uh, change the game. The aroma from the mint is popping out and uh, the root beer flavors, thanks to Amaro, are there. So uh, if you do have some of these ingredients at home, make yourself one of these. As I promised, no bar tools, no ice. And please, 
Make sure you like this video if I taught you anything. Please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it and hit that bell so you get more notifications and so you can come back for more expert instruction for everyday consumption.